manuscript. Hi, it's me, Dora V here. And we got some new manuscripts. We have the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, I don't know, reminds me of that. Uh, good luck with your hole, I guess, or your new home. But if you want to move, you should just move to Apple or Lilith or somewhere other than North Kingdom if you really want to avoid the war. In fact, everybody should be prepared for some refugees because, let's see, Dimitri's policy here. Feature Demi King Dimitri's policy, compulsory conscription system, which is something the United States had up until the Vietnam War, and it got a lot of people fragged because conscription is stupid. In fact, the only time I would think it's acceptable is in Greece they have it. I know that in like North Europe, in, in Finland they do, Israel. But you see, in their case, I can see why. <laughs> Makes sense, Greece being a small country, Israel having a lot of issues, it makes sense. It's just that there's a reason why drafts tend to suck, because all too many people are there because they have to be, and it's, uh, let's just say that in the Vietnam War, for example, the killing of superior officers was definitely a thing. <laughs> a lot more than in previous wars, and that they're just not unless they're very very dutiful they're not really as up to snuff as uh, volunteers because i think volunteers are more likely to be suitable for the military and they'd make it whereas conscripts just yeah like like i said unless they're john snow like they're not really there's kind of a reason why american recruiters didn't like draftees like they just couldn't stand it and there's a reason why it was a bit abolished in the U.S. So, North Kingdom, I was featured, okay, at 8 o'clock this morning, the new King Dimitri enacted a new policy to restore the long-abolished compulsory conscription system. Am I missing something here? I thought that in North Kingdom it already was required. Am I mi- like, because they are a people of war, right? So anyway, in early times of the nation, this system effectively helped great Movon consolidate his power, but in peacetime it was abolished due to overwhelming criticism and was only briefly restored during the Nine Day War period. Well, I mean, if this was like World War II, then it might make sense, like or if you live in a country that you're next door to some enemies and I can see it, but I'm telling you that unless you're dealing with some very dutiful people... <laughs> Like, it, a lot of bad comes out of it, and in my opinion, it outweighs the good. It just absolutely does. So let's see. Er oh, Ernest didn't get featured comment this time around. Sorry. When King Dimitri was thrown, he restored the mandatory conscription policy regardless of objection. He has ambition, obviously. Also, many people in the country do not like the new king's way of managing the country. Well, I think Dimitri is going to have a hard time keeping people in the country. Dimitri was famous for his military power in his own territory, so it's not surprised that he enacted a policy like that. And then Versos. A source says that General Natalia rests after returning to Mordosa, but she's, not a, but she's about to attack Blackwater City soon. King Dimitri's new policy is probably set for this incoming war. Dimitri and Natalia are both strong and arrogant. A long and difficult battle may be coming for Blackwater City. And where the hell is my baby in all of this? I think he's waiting to see these two destroy themselves so he can take over from behind. Yeah, hopefully that's the case. Then we got... I got a cloud here. We'll keep you updated. Ernest, of course, gets comment here because he rocks. Then we got some debuts and fireworks. Uh, this guy is going to eat the townsfolk alive. No, no. Fireworks. And then uh, uh, some stars debuting. Who cares? We've got this. That's cute. And then, oh, this one. Featured overseas Apple president, absent lately for illness. Carter, is that Jimmy Carter? The president of Apple Federation, George, canceled a number of diplomatic and in inter internal activities recently, including interviewing the newly appointed wind whisperer of the Windvale tribe, attending the Mercury's financial report conference, and meeting with the international court representatives. 
A spokesman of Apple's foreign policy said the president was under the weather and inconvenient to show up in public. Other reports said that the Federal Security Agency has a secret investigation on the president and kept them out of all public affairs. We got Ernest here, the best as he typically is. The Apple Federation's presidential election is about to start. If jo President George Carter is in a bad way, he would definitely show up in public. Surprisingly, the other members of George Carter's party are not canvassing for him. People are wondering what they are planning. Yeah. The president of Apple Federation suddenly got sick. Also, the Federal Security Agency just replaced their top commander. People are wondering if a major political change happened inside the Apple Federation. This is nothing new under the sun. The usurpation of power is inevitable in every country. If I could feature both comments, I would. That was good stuff. And then we got Beverly Hillbillies here. And Delicious Orange Man to Steal Trees. Oh, who gives a fuck? And so let's see here. Uh, today's choice, tomorrow's success, Mercury's new festival fund plan, expected rate of return, 13.3%. Contact local branches for details. Whatever. So featured, Trend of Treason, Agatha's Legion acclaimed. Although the Agatha's Legion had a little influence at the beginning of its establishment, she received a lot of support in recent days thanks to the propositions on peaceful reunification and reconstruction of a strong northern kingdom. Many people volunteered to be part of the rebel army. Oh, there you go. See, they're there because they want to be. And I feel like people who want to do something tend to be stronger at it. They tend to be more willing to do certain things. Like, they, there's a lot more enthusiasm. And usually when people volunteer, I just think they are stronger, they are better, they're more willing to make actual sacrifices rather than just straight up theft. Yeah, like they're not robbed of their lives, they want to be there, like this is a much better option. So anyway, it was said that Agatha met and helped most of them when she was performing tasks with the Knights of the Royal City. At 5 o'clock this morning, a sizable group of designers joined Agatha's team. Since the compulsory conscription system was implemented, they secretly fed, fled from Blackwater City. Gee, I wonder why. In fact, a lot throughout history when people were leaving their countries, in a lot of cases it was to escape conscription. Anyway, Agatha promised not to force innocent people to fight on the battlefield and not initiate a meaningless wars. King Dimitri has issued a warrant for these designers. Can someone please assassinate this fuck, please? Kay thinks bye. Anyway, Agatha was revolting while potentates kept starting wars. The innocent citizens fled away in despair. Started with a dozen of members, a group developed into a strong legion. It shows how people want to look forward to peace. Mm hmm. Emmett, people expected the king's power to be kept in the hand of Queen Catherine's offspring. Agatha and those who support her will pay for their actions one day. What? Well, shut the fuck up, bootlick. Anyway, lap, you win the prize. Yep. Now let's see how we're doing in the competition. This is Starflare, Sarah Luke. I am really tempted to have her start pulling, but I don't know. Nah, let's see how we're doing. Boo! Boo! I have to change, but I'll do it at three though when people pick up stamina. How's everyone else doing? Holy shit, Nurse Proyas is doing very, very well. He's gonna stay right where he is at. I have no idea how high that could be at 666. That's if these is if this is the top 20, then he must be pretty high up. Yeah, I know that much. I'd say like 10% maybe. Dora is also doing alright, flexing the God of Wind. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but we'll just... Yeah, flexing the... Yeah, I see here that $100 suit worth every penny. I think Dora is probably like top 30 or something, but yeah, she'll be fine. This one, no, we'll have to change. Or I could probably do it now and just remove the Phoenix. And just Phoenix has to go bye bye. Bye bye, Phoenix. You're awesome, but you have to go. So let's try this one then. It's Warfare Terminator with some swords and a glory of swords. Maybe that'll make a difference. We'll see. That's her. So, anyway, like, that'll do. Now Dora is on the track to completing 
the minstrel of time. Proyas has more diamonds than God. See you later. Goodbye.